Why gamers hate EA. Electronic Arts sucks. You already heard about all the jokes that gamers make when it comes to EA. Every year, the game's barely changed, and everything in-game is basically pay to win. In this video, I will go in depth on why that is, and other details of why gamers hate Electronic Arts. Electronic Arts was founded in 1982, and today, it's the most hated company in the world. The main reason is in-game purchases. Here are some worst examples of it from EA. Star Wars Battlefront 2, November 2017. People were hyped. Even when they saw that $60 price tag, people thought it was worth it because the first one was a great game. So people bought it. Until they found out that they had to unlock the main characters in Star Wars, like Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader. Instead, you have to grind a whole 80 hours, just like three months if you play an hour a day. Or you know, you can just pay the bag. Other characters were hard to get too, because you had to grind and grind and get loot boxes, which only had a chance to get the character you wanted. They just made this grinding strategy so hard because they wanted you to pay. Even though EA responded to their hate on Reddit, it became Reddit's most downloaded comment, and this also caused a huge part of EA fans to boycott the new games. This was EA's final chance, but I think EA just blew it in 2017, and its main reason is because of that Star Wars game and others, and that's why it's so close to dying today. Another example is when they released Battlefield 1. It had less gameplay and content, even less than their own original game in 2005. And of course, the only thing they improved on was the cost of packs and probably the details, like the graphics quality. Some packs were even worth more than the game, which is absolutely nuts. Another time it was pay to win was when they had to charge an extra fee for people who bought pre-owned or used games. They did this by adding a code to all new games so that you have to put in the code to play online. You didn't get the code if it was used because the original owner already used it. They charged around 10 to 15 bucks for codes, so they knew the plan they had with this. Pay to win isn't the only thing EA has a problem with. They also barely update a game year over year. It's like less content than a new Fortnite season, and yet you have to pay for a new game each year. Now they do update them a ton when next gen consoles come out, but is it really worth upgrading every year for basically the same game? No. Examples like FIFA 12 to 13 barely changed. Wired pointed out that they only saw changes in their uniforms and rosters. You might wonder why don't people just play another game? That's basically impossible when it comes to like Madden, for example, because EA has exclusive rights to make games about the NFL and their teams, uniforms and logos, which is the only reason most people play it. This benefits EA, but not the players, because they can basically do anything with the industry. They don't have any competition, so they don't care if they don't improve their game year over year. And if you still think EA games are worth the money, just look at the glitches that come with these games year after year. For example, just search up FIFA glitches or bugs. I would probably not be able to see for a full week. You already knew are the big companies that buy small ones and ruins them. For example, what Microsoft did to Mixer and Skype. EA is no exception. They ruined them by taking their ideas for, and profit or money and killing them. Some of these you might know like Origin Systems and DreamWorks Interactive. Some features of games they kill entirely, for example single player experiences. They said that they want players to return for years not just to finish a game in a couple of hours. Now this isn't a bad plan, but I can see where they're heading. They want to expand on a game so that players can keep buying stuff whenever something new comes out. And single player really doesn't let you do that. Even with all the games EA has killed and all the times they were greedy, they never learn from their mistakes. Yes, they get hate, and yes, people are leaving, but they are still earning so much cash. In fact, EA stock rose by 33% in 2017. Now, let's talk about the future of EA and how long they will last with what they're doing right now. Yes, their FIFA and Star Wars games are kinda dying, but they have so many other branches they can expand on. 
for example, EA is still one of the biggest game companies. And based on my research, it ain't dying anytime soon, and that's for sure. Once they find that they're losing a significant portion of their customers, they have to release something big. And EA hasn't done that for anywhere close to 2021. Thanks for watching, and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.